people put up earnest money when you're trying to buy a property, right? And that's usually going to be 1%. Just because you get into a deal, you put up a 1% earnest money deposit, you terminate the contract before the expiration of your due diligence, which technically that means almost always, well, I get my money back. You might keep $1,000 as an option fee, but I get all my earnest money back. Well, go, yeah, that's true. But if the seller or the buyer, whatever side of the transaction you're on, if the other side of the transaction refuses to cooperate, doesn't matter. The title company will not release the money, even though you are legally you know, allowed to have it. It's legally your money. They will not do it unless they have a sign off by both parties. And if that other side of the transaction decides, no, I just want to be a pain in your ass. And that's happened to me three times now. I have to sue to get my earnest money back. Or one time I had to sue to confiscate the earnest money of somebody that backed out at the very last second. 